1988, that is a slight uh, decrease, uh, or that is about 3.1 million Armenians in Armenia, a little bit, a bit less than 3.1. Uh, and a total Armenian population in the world estimated again at approximately 6.7 million, according to one French scholar, Claire Muradian. Uh, there are other uh, bits and pieces right and left that basically follow the same uh, estimates. The slight decrease by 1% uh, of this ratio, you know, 47.3%, 46.3%, and so on between these two dates, 1976 to 1988, is due to the emigration of approximately 142,600 Soviet Armenians to the West from Soviet Armenia uh, between 1971 uh, to the late uh, 1980s. That is the reason for this slight decrease. Uh, the overall slow concentration of the Armenian population in Soviet Armenia had three major causes. First, Armenians had a very uh, high natural growth rate in their republic. That is, in uh, a nutshell, they made babies. No, a lot of them. Okay. For instance, uh, the highest rate of natural population growth recorded in the Soviet Union in 1927 was that of the Armenians. Between 1940 and 1960 in particular, that rate exceeded uh, those of most of the cent Muslim Central Asian Soviet republics. Early marriage, pre-existing traditions of high fertility, and sociologists uh, and anthropologists suspect a kind of uh, perhaps even unconscious desire to make up for the losses of 1915 might have led to this unusual rate uh, of uh, birth with families often having more than ch five children. There is no clear economic or other explanation for such uh, high numbers uh, of uh, child uh, birth. Um, I can go into the details of the rates of increase, but they are essentially irrelevant. You have got the point. Extremely high birth rates and eh, fertility rates during that period, and I can break that down with very solid data from Soviet scholars from the sub, for the sub-periods, 1920 to 40, and this and that. All of this was very nice, but you should know uh, that uh, the Armenian uh, Republic lost approximately, again, uh, about perhaps uh, 300,000 people during, uh, men, essentially, during the Second World War. In view of the size of the Soviet Armenian population at that time, this would probably be something like the United States today uh, losing uh, more than 60 million people in a war uh, in Afghanistan or Iraq. Okay, so uh, the significance of those losses has not been really covered, uh, you know, in, uh, by uh, various uh, historians, and uh, is not exactly present in uh, Armenian uh, public consciousness. Let's put it that way. Uh, the second cause for the phenomenon I have explained, uh, uh, the growth of the Soviet Armenian population, uh, is uh, the concentration of the population in Armenia, is the repatriation of about 100,000 Armenians from the diaspora between 1946 and 1949. In addition to this figure, 42,286 Armenians repatriated to Soviet Armenia from 1921 to 1936, mostly Iranian Armenians. Hmm? And another 31,920 Armenians repatriated to Armenia from 1962 to 1982. So there are several waves, you know. Uh, there is one massive wave, which is after the Second World War, the famous Hyrena Tarzutun repatriation. But in addition to that, there was an earlier wave in the 1920s, mostly from Iran, 
and a kind of a slower trend of people uh, moving uh, to Armenia. These also contributed to the uh, growth of the ratio I have uh, explained, you know, concentration of population in Armenia. The total number of repatriates from 1921 to 1982 thus reaches something uh, approximately around 165,000 uh, souls. The third cause for this trend, uh, concentration of population in Armenia, uh, lies uh, in the overall positive balance of Armenian migratory movements between the Armenian Republic and the other Soviet republics. This positive balance is estimated at about 207,000 uh, individuals between 1961 and 1976. Uh, in case uh, what I said uh, might not be clear, all that this means is that instead of people leaving Soviet Armenia and, let's say, settling in Soviet Georgia or Soviet Ukraine and so on, there are people from those republics, Soviet republics, settling in Soviet Armenia. That's what we are talking about. Not migration from outside, you know, from the West or Iran, but within the Soviet Union there is a kind of concentration of people uh, settling in Soviet Armenia itself. That's what uh, it's all about. Clearly, the end of the 1980s was a turning point with regard to the balance of population uh, migration. That balance turned negative, abruptly negative thereafter, uh, with the exception of the temporary massive influx of Armenian refugees from Azerbaijan between 1988 and 1990. It was temporary. Uh, for the very simple reason that probably more than three quarters of those refugees from Azerbaijan uh, did not stay in Armenia and moved on to other republics and you can find some of them, I am sure, in Southern California and you can find actually many of them in uh, my area, in Northern California, around San Francisco. I have had several students uh, who were born in Baku, for example, uh, outstanding students overall. No? Okay. So, uh, this is the first trend. Now we are going to move to the second trend. The melting of the Middle Eastern Armenian diaspora, and it can be said also Eastern European and so on, but it was, uh, you know, smaller diasporas there. The melting of the Middle Eastern Armenian diaspora from the 1950s to the 1990s. The geographic concentration of the Armenian population in the diaspora has also evolved, which suggests that the concept of diaspora and its reality should be perceived in their movement and evolution and not as static objects of analysis. Until 1939, uh, the bulk of the non-Soviet Armenian diaspora was concentrated in the Middle East, Iran, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Egypt, and so on. Okay. Not only in the Middle East, but also in Southeastern Europe, Greece, Romania, Bulgaria, we tend to forget these communities, you know, uh, and in Cyprus. The political developments in those areas uh, since 1945, such as the Greek Civil War in 1945-46, were Armenian communists and Armenian Tashnaks enthusiastically butchered one another. Uh, uh, the, the establishment of socialist regimes in Romania and Bulgaria. The rise of Arab nationalistic regimes combined with a number of military coups in the Middle East. The Cypri Cypriot crisis and especially the Lebanese civil war starting in 1975 and the establishment of the Islamic Republic of Iran starting in 1979 have led to massive movements of Middle Eastern Armenian populations. <coughs> Excuse me. Thus, today, when we look at the Western uh, diaspora, let's put it that way, because now the significant diaspora actually is the Russian Armenian diaspora. So let's talk about the Western diaspora, anything from Iran to France to 
California to Argentina.